returned home with a pocket full of stolen ash. Half of it fell out of my coat and vanished into the car's upholstery. But the rest I carefully stowed away in a box I kept in a drawer by the side of my bed. It was never intended as a meaningful act, but over the years it became a kind of talisman. I'd sit still, quite still for hours, just holding the diminishing powder in my palm and noting its smoothness. In time, we will all be worn down into granules, washed into the sea and dispersed. There were chemical diagrams on the mug he gave me coffee in, sticky at the handle where his hands shook. He worked for a pharmaceutical company with an office based on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. He'd been travelling back from a sales conference in Exeter, forming a strategic vision for the peddling of antacid yoghurt to the European market. You could trace the connections with your finger, join the dots, and whole new compounds would be summoned into activity. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. 